As you approach Chileno, you cross cultivated fields and orchards, which testify that the Taverina Valley and the Viterbo region have always been agricultural lands. Here, olives, vineyards and, from 1500, cherries have always been cultivated. Cherry trees grow around Chileno, and their fruit is certified as typical local produce. A popular feast celebrates Chileno's cherries at the beginning of June. The province of Viterbo produces nowadays the 25% of all cherries in the Lazio region, mostly employing traditional methods, very few chemical products and preserving a large variety of cherry tree species, thus contributing to safeguarding biodiversity. Yet, while the countryside is busy with human activities, the oldest part of Chileno, gathered around the Orsini castle, is deserted. Originally inhabited by the Etruscans, the old village today looks like the perfect stage for a fantasy movie. The steep alley at the entrance, the bridge over the deep moat, the tiny square surrounded by tough houses and the shape of the village itself. Everything seems to remind visitors of the Middle Ages. And so do the scenic views of the countryside that suddenly appear as you walk around the old village. While the small village today looks peacefully asleep, its history has been very troubled. Starting with the wars between Romans and Etruscans, followed by the Goths and Langobards invasions, the fights between Guelphs and Ghibellines, and finally the disastrous earthquakes in 1600, which obliged the population to abandon the old town and move where modern Chileno will be built. But something old is still lively in the neighbourhood of the old part of Chileno. The Church of St. Rock has a beautiful Renaissance portal and inside a majestic crucifix. Not far from here you will find the former St. John's Convent. It is now private but open to visitors. It is possible to access a small Romanic church built before the year 1000 from inside the entrance porch. Inside the former convent building, the spacious cloister is almost entirely covered by a series of 1700 frescoes, which illustrate the life of St. Francis. 